Hey guys, I just got the Chimera 5 and I just want to do a quick video about it. Um, I actually ordered this knife yesterday morning at 2 in the morning, so kind of like two nights ago. And I actually just got it today and it's 12 o'clock. So very fast shipping. Um, we got it from Blade HQ, so yeah, they did really fast shipping. I also got the Express, but it's faster than I thought it'd be. I was very happy about that. And they did pack it well. It had this thing lining in this box and then that box in here. So it was good packing. The only thing is a couple scratches on the box, but that's not a big deal. But the knife looks really good. I'm going to do a review on it in a few seconds. I just wanted to get this part out of the way and I'm going to flip this a little bit so I can get a good review on it. So I hope you enjoy the video, and there's more to come in a few seconds. Hey guys, I just got back from flipping this Camera 5, and I'm actually liking it a lot. It is actually really sharp though, because it's kind of scaring me a little bit, but it actually is a really smooth flipper. And, well, let's get started on the review. First of all, I like the box, my favorite color, it mixed with black. That's about it for the box, there's not much to it. That's what the box looks like. And like I said, it's got a few scratches on it. If you can see that on the camera, not a big deal, but whatever. And this is actually my fake 42, since my real one's out being repaired. But actually, it's supposed to be back either later today or tomorrow morning. So I'll actually be able to finish that review really soon. But it's just here for comparisons. Okay, so Camera 5. I got the this style of the handles over the other style was this vertical versus horizontal just because I like this one more same with the blade, I like this blade style more, there's two other blade styles there's the Tonto and there's something else but we're reviewing this one, not them so actually when I was going to order this one I was hoping to find a black one but I actually realized those were really limited production. There's like a hundred of each style of knife. So those are really hard to find. So I settled for the silver, but I do like how the screws are black. I think that's really cool. Gives it a different kind of look. But let's look at the latch real quick. There's actually a T latch. And I wasn't too excited about the T latch at first. It's still not my favorite thing in the world, but they actually do have the spacers in between the handles for the sandwich style and it actually acts as a latch gate so you don't have to worry about that coming in contact with the blade it does hit the handle a little bit if you flip it a certain way sometimes it will come in contact but you do not have to worry about it hitting the hand or the blade so that's really good because I know a lot of T-latches don't always have that so you don't have to worry about that at all um, like I said sandwich style not my favorite but for the Camera it's not too bad got all these vertical holes in the handles so it kind of just like matches it so not a big deal there um, it is a spear tip sharp here not here although sometimes on camera it looks like both sides are sharp but it's really sharp see if I can get something to cut it with for you the box it came in straight through it <laughs> I didn't want to push too hard, I didn't want to come off on the table, but like you can see, it's a really sharp blade. And the blade's actually really smooth with the texture they put on it. I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but it's not polished, it's just really soft feeling almost. I'm trying to give it the best review I can, so I'm sorry if I don't get any super detailed, you know, anything on it. But here's the blade play on it. It's actually really tight, if you can see it at all. And like I said, I just got this today, so I haven't flipped it a whole lot. But that's the blade play when you get it. And I haven't even locked tighted it yet, so it's doing really good. And yeah, it's a really smooth flipper. It's really quiet, other than the T-latch. It doesn't make much noise, but it does make some noise. And also, when it closes, during tricks, it makes that little noise, but other than that, it's really quiet. Almost as quiet as the 42, other than the T-latch. So I think that's really good. 
know what else is there. Oh, another thing, wall flipping. I wasn't too happy about it. It's just the way the handles are. They're kind of... They're not a complete 90 degree angle, but they're actually pretty sharp to hold on to. Like, you know, just... It's not very smooth feeling in your hand, like when you're twisting it around. So it's not like the best for grip, but it's really not a big deal. And then it has two tang pins when you open it and close it. Instead of just one, like the 42, because the 42 has that for when you close it. Once again, this is sandwich style. It's not full channel, which is part of the reason for that. So yeah, overall, I think it's a really good knife. I'm glad I got it. And like I said, I got it from Blade HQ. They're really good at shipping. I did get the $17 shipping for the Express, which honestly, it was like a day later. I live in Indiana, and I got NHQ. Blade HQ is in Utah. So it was like a day, day and a half to get here. So it was really fast shipping. Definitely worth the money. Can't complain about that. And it was a good price. I think it was $85 on Blade HQ, which most sites it's $100 to get this knife. And with the $17 shipping, it was $106. So somewhere around those price ranges. So definitely worth the price. Very happy with it. And I don't know if I told you this yet. The, almost the only reason I got this knife was because my name is on it. My name is Bradley. So I thought that was really cool. That's the main reason I want it. And also I heard there's supposed to be ending production on these. Not so sure how true that is, but that's what I've heard in a YouTube video for a review I watched on this knife before I got it. So it made me want to get this knife even more. So I'm glad I did. Definitely worth the money. Great quality knife for the price. It'll last you a long time if you treat it right. Loctite it, because I know screws are bad for that. I've had screws fly out of this thing plenty of times before I loctited it. Oh, part of the reason I wanted this out here. The fake 42 is like twice as heavy as the real 42. And they actually, the weight for this actually about compares to the Chimera. So the fake 42 and the Chimera are about the same weight. Now the real 42 is definitely a lot lighter. Different, different metal handles. They're titanium. These are stainless steel, I think. Way heavier. Not too bad to flip. This is probably definitely smoother than the fake 42, but the real 42, I would definitely say outranks this, but they're so hard to find now. Definitely overpriced. I got lucky with mine. I'll talk about that with my next part two video to my 42. But finish this review. Great knife. Worth the money. Definitely check out the other blade styles and handle styles. Find one you're really interested in. Don't get too hooked on to the black look for them because they're so hard to find but if you find one good job be jealous <laughs> so there you go any questions please um, send me a message comment below and if you enjoyed the video please like it and let me know if there's any other videos you want me to do and as soon as I get my 42 back I do plan on doing some more reviews for a, you know, a review on that, and I do plan on doing some more tutorials. I'm going to do behind the eight ball, the helix, the blender, stuff like that. But if you have any ideas for what you want to learn for tricks, send me some of those. But thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.